All right, guys, welcome back to On Shape Orientation. Today we are going to be doing arc practices. So again, like always, let's get started with a uh, sketch. So Shift S, and we're going to start on the top plane. So Shift S, or click the pencil, and select your uh, plane you're going to draw on. Letter N to normalize, letter P to hide your planes, okay? Um, so we've done our lines, we've done our rectangles, we've done our circles, we're moving on to arcs. Um, so if we look, we have... Uh, a variety of different types of arcs we can do. Uh, but again, the only one with a hot key or shortcut key is the three point arc. So we'll start with that one. Then we'll move into tangent arc, center point arc, elliptical arc, and conic. Um, a lot of these uh, you can accomplish by using a circle. And I'm going to show you another tool we can use today too. But before we get started, I'm going to draw a couple of lines. Um, that are going to be that are going to serve as our construction line. So you can see the first line I draw is a solid line, right? Before I draw my second line, if I press the letter Q on my keyboard, or if you look up here in the toolbar, you'll see this. It's a solid line to a dotted line. This turns things into construction lines. So if I go ahead and click there, I will have that as a construction line. No big deal if you messed up on the first one. Select your line, press Q and click off of it, and that'll turn both of them into construction lines. Everything we do today um, with these arcs, we're going to base off of this construction line at the origin, so you can kind of see how some of these things work. So for starters, like we said, let's start with that three-point arc, and it's just like a three-point circle. You have to click three points. So I'm going to click one point on my uh, vertical construction line, one point on my horizontal, and then I can drag my center point wherever I want, um, let's say I want it to be, uh, I click there, I'll give it just a spot out in space, but let's say I know I need my radius to be, I don't know, three inches. I can type in that, that number, just like we've done on every other drawing so far. Again, if I mess up and I want that to be actually four inches in diameter, I can double click on that measurement and change what I need to. So then again, that's the three point arc, click three points, you get an arc, okay? Now for tangent arc, sketch an arc tangent to a selected line or arc. So if I wanted an arc to be tangent, I clicked this line and I clicked this line. Now you'll see it's tangent uh, along that line. Now for me, I don't think I'd ever really want to do a tangent circle in this aspect. I would probably more want a curve similar to this. I'll show you with a circle where I can actually tangent to the lines and then come through and trim like that. Yeah, I know I've been telling you guys that it's the, the less clicks you do, the better. But for some, for me, these tangent arcs seem to go the opposite direction of how I always want them to go. And it's a lot easier for me to just do some circles and do some trimming action. So I'm going to get rid of those. That was our tangent arc. Um, if you have kids in your class or if you're the kid in class that has a, a problem with a lot of these math uh, concepts, these arcs are kind of what's going <laughs> to mess with them a little bit. But to show them how these things work, remember everything's based off of circles and lines. Um, and arcs are just chunks of circles. So let's move on to our center point arc. And it's just like it says. This one you'll probably use a lot. So let's use our origin as our center point. I'm going to go out and you'll see that it wants me to have a dotted line, right? So it's not going to actually draw that whole circle. So let's go here and we'll click and anywhere on that circle, I can make a full arc. If I go full, it doesn't like it. So I can be anywhere under 360 degrees. I can go 359 and it'll give me, you know, I could tell it a radius of six. Um, but it'll give me that arc. So that's a full arc before actually becoming a circle. Um, if I only wanted, let me undo that. If I only wanted a quarter of that, or maybe I only wanted it to go from here to here, there's my semicircle, a uh, quarter of that circle. If I wanted another one, maybe to go halfway, share that same center point. There's all kinds of different geometry you can do now with, with that using that center arc tool. So man, pick a center and then give yourself a radius. Um, that's kind of where it differs from 
uh, the circle command. Circle is going to make you do a diameter, and arc is going to make you do a radius. So keep that in mind when you're doing that. Let's get rid of those. And let's move on to our next archetype. So after center point, we have our elliptical arc. And elliptical arcs are similar to uh, an elliptical. Just how circles are similar to uh, regular arcs, elliptical arcs are the same idea. So we're going to draw ourselves an elliptical. And it's still going to be a, or an ellipse, sorry. Um, and it's still going to be a construction version of that. So now if I go, I only want to go from this top in this top right quad quadrant, I'll get myself a an elliptical arc that matches that ellipse, but it's only going to do that corner, right? If I wanted to do the same thing uh, about here to here, but I only wanted, maybe I wanted that other section, that's how I'd be able to go about doing that. So elliptical arc, it's an ellipse, and you're going to take a part of that ellipse, which makes it an elliptical arc. Get rid of those. And our last one is a conic. Now, uh, we'll look at the definition on that. Um, and it says, sketch an ellipse, parabola, or hyperbola by defining its start, end, and control points to specify its row value. Now... It looks very similar to a three-point arc, but there's a lot more math that goes into this. Um, so I'll click some points, and I get kind of more of a skewed curve, like it says a parabola, a um, hyperbola, or other different types of shapes you can do with this. Now, to me, I see like wing foils of like a, a airplane. Uh, maybe some rocket fins, but it, if you're watching this video, you probably don't need help with this kind of math. Um, you know, we always say it's not rocket science. This feature right here is is rocket science. So um, I'll show you kind of how it works, but it's it's not something I use. I think I've used it maybe once or twice when trying to figure out how this program worked. Um, and I found better ways to draw arcs. And we're cutting parts out in my shop and doing stuff for art, but this is a huge learning curve that I, I mean, what you can get out of this feature, I haven't seen not being able to get from lines and circles. So that's going to be all our um, elliptical tools. Again, the biggest one you're probably going to use, and the only reason you probably clicked on this video was for this three-point arc, this tangent arc, and the center point arc. So I'll show those again really quick. A uh, three point arc, letter A, one, two, and give yourself a third point. A tangent arc. So if I wanted something to go tangent to that line, it's going to do an arc that's tangent, a tangential relationship with that. And our last one is our center point arc. So I'm going to start with a center, and I only want it to go from here to here. So there's my center point arc. Remember, anytime that text box pops up, you're able to give it a dimension. Just pay attention on these arcs. It's going to be asking for radii or a radius and not asking for a diameter like you're used to on circles. So um, that's going to be it for us today. Uh, look forward to next week and we will be talking about polygons and my favorite tool, splines. See ya. Thanks.